everybody. This is GamerDad563 here, and today we're playing a little bit of Scrap Mechanic. As you can see, we're at a place that I have dubbed The Farm, and I've built a little bit of a building here. I've done most of this work off camera. Um, I'm just going to show you guys around, and then uh, we'll do some other stuff too. So anyway, um, yeah, I built this uh, a few days ago, and... You know, it's got a couple different things to it. You know, I got this door here. Slides open. And it's pretty cool, because, you know, you walk in. Nothing in here, really. Um, but what's neat about it is you can actually close it from the inside. And you do that using sensors, which is the little boop-boop sound you just heard. And I got a little access panel here, and that's how this works. Essentially, you have one sensor two different controllers hooked up to those each of those switches and then the switch activates the little lever there which puts it down in front of the sensor and yeah it slides open the door and shuts it so you just want to make sure that uh, when you do this you don't um, walk outside a different way with the door shut after you've shut it from the inside, because you can't get back in without having to delete a wall. And then I've got my uh, my window operations. I could have made it so that they all opened at the same time, but eh, I preferred it this way. It gives it more of a dramatic effect. And then, uh, yeah, I must say this game is pretty cool. It's and it's also really gorgeous I mean the uh, the scenery is awesome and you know I just like fiddling around with it and playing with it I'm interested to see where they're gonna go with this game as far as the survival aspect as well uh, this is my little tractor I built it's a farm so you know farm needs a tractor um, yeah and then uh, you can see here I've I've kind of connected everything. I got the steering in the front. The back wire, the back tires are the only uh, ones that spin. And then this little button here, well, switch. Sorry, swings open the door, and that's set on a delay, so it'll actually close itself. And then uh, yeah, let me show you my garage door without walking through my tire. Yeah, yeah. That one side slides open. Slides up. I actually had it set up differently, but it kept screwing up on me and getting all wonky and just ugh. so I eventually, you know, just swapped it out for the, the current design. Let me close that up. Let me show you what I've got going on upstairs in the bedroom. You see, I've got a little bed, and every time I start this game, this thing is all out of whack. But let me see if I can fix it here. It should write itself. It's just off. This, this game is very, very early access still. There's a lot of bugs, a lot of things that go on with it, but still a really fun game. Well, let's see, got ourselves a little balcony here. Uh, let's go back in here and flip this thing back up. Let's see if we can get it to write itself, and then I'll show you the full on. There we go. See those sides fold down, the front rail folds down, and the whole thing should come spinning back up. And the supports that actually sit on the top of the little porch roof out there come spinning back in. And that's how I got it all connected. There's a controller hidden over behind that little AC unit thing. And yeah, so let me just uh, click this button, show you the animation again. S supports swing out. See if I can get downstairs in time. I doubt it. Oh, oh, gotta open this door. I'll probably show it to you later in the video. But, uh, yeah. Swings out, set it settles down out there on that outside porch right there. Looks quite nice. Yeah. Garage, house, folding balcony. It's pretty neat. So, I guess uh, for the rest of the video, we'll just do some decorating. It's kind of bare in here, so, yeah, let's just do some stuff, huh? Um, let's see here. Uh, 
tile. Tile's good. Let's. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a sink in here somewhere, isn't there? There's, there's some pottery. Yeah, there's some plants. Let's, let's greenerize it. You know. Um, let's see what else we can do here. Well, there's the sink. Toilet paper. I think we can make a paper towel roll out of that at some point. Well, we'll try it. Let's let's get this sink in here. Yeah, not an upside down sink. There we go. Uh, let's put it right here under the window. That's usually where you find the sink. You know, you look out in the yard, or well, in this case, the little dirt patch outside, <laughs> and build a countertop. Yeah, that sounds about. That looks good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. That'll, that'll make it look good. I want my countertop at least, you know, three or four wide. I mean, there we go. Center it. And, yeah. I don't like it exposed like that, so I want to just add another layer here. Like so. There we go. That looks about right. That looks nice. Cozy little kitchen. All right. Uh, do we want to do cabinets? Yeah, how realistic do I want to make this? Uh, hmm. Let's grab the wood. Yeah, yeah, let's grab the wood. All right. Wood. Drop that there. fix this real quick. <laughs> Sorry guys. There we go. And select the actual wood this time. There we go. Yep. Alright. And then yeah let's go ahead and uh, yeah let's make some cabinets. So how, how are we going to do this? I want to do wood. Yeah let's do some wood. Can I make this look more like cabinets? Grab those and close it. Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, wait, no. I meant to grab concrete. My bad. Let me grab the concrete. There we go. Let's see how that looks. That yeah, looks okay. Yeah. It's a bit of a different texture than the, the brick or the tile or the wood. It doesn't have all the rivets in it like the metal does. Let's go ahead and do this and this. Alright. Yeah, that looks alright. We we'll just need some handles. Grab that. Okay. And plop those in. Let's, let's do it like that. Well, yeah, that looks right. Yeah, it looks like we got you know nice kitchen cabinets. I wonder if we can do some upper cabinets up here. Sorry about that. I guess uh, they're picking all the rewards for football tonight. Let me go ahead and mute that phone real quick. It is the night before the Super Bowl, so my ESPN app is going crazy on my phone. Alright. You'll probably keep hearing that. Sorry about that. And, no, we don't want to sink up there. That would look a little retarded. Let me see. Nope, 
that's off. Shoot. All right. Uh, we'll that one. We'll need that one. Okay, and then let's go ahead and put one in. Is that right? That doesn't look right. Nope. One off. Do do do. in that don't actually work because I'm not going to ever put anything up here or use any of that stuff so you know it's, this is just for aesthetics you know just to make it look nice in here so let's go ahead and drop these doors in put the screws on right there. bada bing bada boom alright well Good. We've got ourselves a kitchen. Or, I guess it would be more of a kitchenette. You know, there's no stove, and I'm not probably not going to make a stove. It's just going to be hard to do. You know, maybe at some point they'll. I mean, this, like I said, this is very, very early access, so, you know, they're going to be adding all sorts of stuff to this, I'm sure, and be able to make better creations as time wears on. I'm actually very interested to see the survival aspect of this, which is part of why I made the house the way I made it. Because, you know, if it's anything like, say, Minecraft, where during the day you're pretty safe, but at night, you know, you've got baddies that come out and, you know, try to eat you or, you know, whatever the case may be. You can kind of come up in here and you can shut these windows down and lock up the house and be relatively safe, hopefully. So, I made myself a good kitchen table. Now, I, said, I mentioned earlier I wanted to do some sort of paper towel roll. That would be pretty interesting. So, let's see what we can do here. Mm, yeah, right about there is good. Go ahead and put that down. Put the other one over there. The TP. All right. Uh, all right. They're not symmetrical. Hold on. Let me. No. 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 Hmm. I guess I have to go over here and do it this way. There we go. Well, yep. Looks like a paper towel roll to me. That looks pretty neat. I like it. Alright. You know, what's a kitchen without a fridge? Let's go ahead and get a fridge. Alright. Um, yeah, that looks good. Yeah, I'll grab that. Alright, and... Rotate, rotate. Rotate. Is that going to work? Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, that looks fridge-like. Sorry, I had uh, a phone call coming in, so I had to take a break in the recording there for a second. But I was thinking about putting a bathroom in here. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but uh, let's see what we can do. Here. Let's go ahead and wall this off. Mm -hmm. Have a nice little doorway here. We'll put a door on that in a minute to get the furnishings put in. We've got to have a sink in the bathroom. Let's rotate that. Nice and centered in the window. Yeah. And that's the controller for my garage door. So let's let's go ahead and hide that. Like so. Okay. Now. What are we going to do about a toilet? Can't have a bathroom without a place to you know, go, so, hmm, tile, I don't know if a tile toilet's going to look right, I mean, the color would be right, but, I don't know how, you know, 
It's tile. I've never seen a tiled toilet. It's always usually one piece of, you know, ceramic that's... Hmm. What to do, what to do. Let's try... I don't want to put it over there. Let's put it over here. Metal. Oh, oh, not that high. So. Uh huh. Oof, that would be a cold seat to sit on. Especially in like the middle of the night. Ooh. But hey, we don't actually have to sit on it because, you know, there's no bathroom mechanic in this game, so. Well, looks close enough to a toilet for me. What am I doing? Let me. I'm gonna make a shower here. Let's see, that looks nice. Alright, let me. swing this around. The staircase. Okay, what's going on? When, when did I go read that? I never must have put it in. Bring this side up. Back. There we go. It looks looks just like a shower. Nice little standing shower. Um, it's not deep enough. Let's let's bring it up higher. There we go. Hide that little hole too. Drop that out. There we go. Now, what can I do about a fixture here? I'm going to have some sort of shower head going on. Hmm. Oh, well, that's, that's necessary. Got to have a way to turn on the water. And, yeah, we'll do a little corner joint here. That ought to work. Oh, that's only four. All right. Well, there's five there. We can do it right in the center there. There we go. And put a little nozzle in. And let's go one lower. There we go. Uh, and then the water's going to spray right down. There's that little pipe right there. Alright. Drop that in there. And right there centered. Get that on there. There we go. That's about as close to a showers you're gonna get. Looks pretty good. Pretty snazzy. Hmm. Let's see. I want to put a little lever on the side of this toilet so it actually looks like you can kind of flush it. Try the nut. If this doesn't look good, we'll we'll go back to the screw. Oh, looks good. Looks like a little push button flush. All right. Not too shabby. Oh, what's a what's a shower without a rubber ducky? We got we got to put a rubber ducky in here. There we go. And bloop. I love how it makes like this gigantic boom sound when it drops. Like it, you know, weighs five tons. <laughs> All right. Um. We just gotta put a door on here, I guess. Let's go ahead and grab a bearing. And they're not down here. Dirt. Sorry, I'm having a dirt moment. There we go. Grab a bearing. I'll probably just do a wood door. Put that in. Voila, we have a door. I should probably put a doorknob on the bottom. There we go. And we got a bathroom door. Now we just need a way to open and shut it, so I'm going to have to add in a controller somewhere. Grab a controller. And I think we'll stick it with this other controller in behind this wall here. So let me delete this 
wall. Yep, right there. Seems like a good spot. All right, let's put it in there. Grab our connection tool. Run it to the bearing. And we're going to want it to swing outwards, so that'd be blue. And we'll do uh, 105. Oh, wait, it's not a 90 degrees. We'll slow it down a little bit so it doesn't fly open. And... Right. Let's go ahead and connect this up to a switch and yeah, we can close that wall back up. Uh, I wish doing electrical and plumbing were this easy in real life. Sheesh. Alright. Yep, see, we walk in, use the facilities, and Walk back out. I guess there's a kind of a bit of a privacy issue there. Seems how it only opens from the outside and you can't shut it, but yeah, it is what it is. I'm not gonna install uh, another contraption like I have for the front door just to go in and out of the bathroom, considering you never use the bathroom in this game. So I guess privacy isn't that much of an issue. Um I wonder if this fridge would look good with some handles on it. What can I use for that? Um, will this work? How big this is. Oh, wait. No. No, that's way too big. Um... This staircase railing? I wonder how that one. Ooh, that's a little long. Can we flip it up? Yeah, no. No, that's not gonna work either. Alright, well, you know what? It still looks fridgy enough for me. I know that's probably not a real word, fridgy, but you know, hey, somebody call Oxford. some shrubs out here so pretty up the front a little bit and bloop that looks good bloop nice makes it look all homey bloop. and bloop nice all right very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah. So, that's pretty much it. That's that's the farm. Um, I'll do some more scrap mechanic videos where I'll be building, you know, much more interesting stuff. I just, you know, this is the first video on this channel. So, I figured I'd do something a little simple and before I get into doing something real crazy. So, um... If you liked the video, go ahead and uh, smack that like button. And, uh, you know, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, that'd be great too. Alright. And, oh, before I go, there's one thing you need to know about this game. is When you have all this stuff like this, when it's activated and you log out, you'll come back and... It'll Everything just kind of tries to shut all at the same time, and that's how you get things that kind of sort of break. So I found that when you're getting ready to log out of the game, you want to make sure everything is in its natural state before you log out. And with that said, I'm out of here, guys. Have a great day.